And that guess what we're putting together today? We got a Blackstone in the house, 36 inch, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Join us as we uh, try to make uh, heads or tails of these instructions and put together this new Blackstone griddle. So due to the weight of this monster, 183 pounds, I figure we'll use Flash. So you can see there's Flash. Hi, Flash. And here's Peanut. Hi, Peanut. So Peanut says, here, Flash, take the Blackstone. Flash says, gladly I'll take it from you, Peanut, because we're buddies. And I know you can't go up the hill. This being the hill we're talking about. It's only a couple of feet, but still, when some weighs almost 200 pounds, that's kind of heavy, right? Even for a dolly. So, um, let's get this going. <laughs> Don't go too fast. Be careful, because you go down into a hole. Okay, stop. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. Where do you want your Blackstone grill? Come on, bring it on over. Put it together. Go for it, girl. Oh, easy for you to say, my lovely boo-boo. <laughs> you say, just drop it. It's made of metal. Just drop it. Just drop it. I mean, I need a new deck oh. anyway. <laughs> I need a new deck. I do. <laughs> <laughs> We knew that from the day we deck bought this or, house. Deck or Blackstone? Deck or Blackstone? Yeah. The Blackstone might go through the deck. Might do it, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing it on that board over there. Uh, I didn't win the um, Powerball, so the deck's got to be a DIY. <laughs> Time for the unveiling. Woo! Looky there. Blackstone is coming on. I suppose I have to read this at some point? Yeah. This is all one piece. Oh, this part's got a little weight to it. So if you buy one of these, as you see, um, be prepared for it to be quite a job to put it together and even to get it to your house. <laughs> if you don't want to go through all that, just have them do it at the store, uh, put it together for you, but we didn't do that. Okay, folks, so this is our parts list. Take a gander at that. We're going to be putting all these parts together and we have seven pages of instructions. So you will need a screwdriver, a double A battery, and your propane. It doesn't include that. Um, so just be aware of that. Step one, well, we need to get the stuff out of the box, but step one is use 10 screws to attach the four legs to the bottom of the grill body. And then I guess you put on the face plate. So um, where's the crane to lift? The, the grill body. <laughs> grill body. Um, let's that? see. Up here, crane not included. Nah. So we've dug through the treasure chest here, and we have found the griddle. Um, look at all those amazing things. We got omelets and fried taters and pancakes and hamburgers and, and bacon, hot dogs and bacon and veggies and hmm, yeah amy says i have to put it together first yeah you have to put it together first and i told him he needs to knock around them spatulas like the hibachi yeah yeah that is yeah that is the star of the show and it is heavy so just know that <laughs> <laughs> know that it's heavy it's heavy we're all the burners <laughs> I think that thing sits on like a base, kind of like a well, barbecue or something, but... I think we're getting closer, boo-boo. Um, but they, they got to have some burners in there well, somewhere. We're getting, we're getting closer. So this thing has louvers to it, 
But I think this is more like a shelf. So we're going to disregard him for yeah, a Yeah, that's a shelf. He's like a shelf. He's... And you just... Make sure you do this on a day with no wind. That way you know <laughs> junk blows all over the place, right? <laughs> or else, guess what? Do it, it on a day where your tolerance level is... Yeah. High. Make sure you're in a good mood when you're putting this together, because <laughs> things could be bad. Now, I think this is what you're looking for, Bobo. Is on the bottom, this guy hooks up to your propane tank. Okay, so you know so burners we're making are in progress here. These have louvers. So the legs are going to go on this guy somewhere, but we don't know until we get out of the box. So. That's going to happen off camera because it's going to be ugly. We might actually have to go to the hospital, I think, maybe. One, one or both of us. We might drive the neighbor. Yeah. Well, the grill is heavy. It oh, weighs, my gosh. The grill weighs maybe 40 pounds. I think this is where the other weight's at. This guy is not lightweight at all. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll spell you, spare you guys the gory details on this. Just know Timber! that a whole bunch of um, trapeze work and some crazy stuff happened to get into this box. If, if, if you have an engine lift, you might want to break it out. Be careful, Crazy Boo, because this is going to come kaboom. Oh, no. I mean, worst case, you just lost, what, 600? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, something might be budging. I don't know. It, it's only going to fall a foot, right? What we made Unless it, it gets a hole in the deck and goes all the way down to the ground. Well, a hole in the deck, that's a different story. It's possible with this deck. Oh, I heard something, baby. Sounded like the bunk cake coming out the pan. It is. I think it's kissing the wood now. <laughs> so let's see if we can lift it. Oh, I hope they greased and floured this before they put it in the box. Oh! Yay! Don't... What? Don't send the box to the window. That would not be good. <sighs> I wonder if this is the legs. Oh! That would turn this project into concrete. <laughs> ah. All right. Now we just have some styrofoam from this. I mean, we do have parts down here. I don't know what they go to, but they fit in there. So you wanted some burners. The burners are there. Oh, there's someone on there. Okay, at least we don't have to put that together. Oh. I would just reserve the better part of the day to do this. And a six pack of beer. So it might be worth paying the installation at the store. Don't know. I don't know how much that costs, but you know, but how you much need, is your time worth? you need a truck or a trailer. See, this fit in an SUV, no problem, with a seat down. I can't say that if it's assembled. Well, I can. It ain't gonna fit. Peanut would not enjoy this. Ugh. We got a little more off, got to start. It kind of looks like my um, foosball table. You see, this is what I don't like about gas grills, right? They're convenient and everything. So this pipe, this is like stainless steel probably. Do you, you see all these holes? Over time, they will corrode and they'll get bigger. And then at some point, they'll probably need to be replaced. Usually you think of little burners, little round ones on your typical gas grills. And especially the cheap ones, all right? They only cost like Charbroil and some of those brands only cost like a hundred bucks. They're disposable. This is the same with steel. Hopefully it will last a little longer than God only knows what metal the other ones use. Cast iron works better, obviously. But we'll see. But you can see, these are the four burners. These are going to have massive amounts of propane coming out. And I think it's going to be fun, boo. We can burn us some good pancakes on this thing, huh? Burn, baby, burn! Burn, baby. Yeah, we got a mess of stuff here. So we got some screws here, different lengths and amounts it's all labeled yay but you got to open the back which isn't labeled so that's scary i think these are the wheels we got some of those but they don't they're not completely put together i have no idea what this orange stuff is is that like handles or something it could be handles god only knows what that stuff is 
And these are pasta legs. But it sounds like there's a loose screw already. I'm afraid to open it and lose that screw or else I have $600 down the drain, right? Um, but there seems to be four of these, so I think these are the legs. So I think I need to get a screwdriver and then figure out what these are. These could be handles. Don't know. Yeah. So we probably need to look at the parts diagram. These, they, Everything has a letter on it, right? Like this is a D. But over here is a B. So the D goes somewhere, the B goes somewhere. Who knows? A and C probably somewhere. So let's figure this out. Okay, so Eric's getting the legs on here. They go on the bottom of this where the burners are. You must have water to drink if you're out here because it's hot. And so all you do is screw the legs on like this. The legs are not all the same. They have specific holes they match. Some have extra holes, but they don't need to all line up. The back ones use two screws. The front ones use three. They're pretty clear about that. They seem to fit. It looks like we have holes on them for future connecting of things, probably the cabinet panels. So that's a dead That was away. pretty easy that's part. Away. So that's half. That was step number one. Step number two, we got some metal piece we got hook on here. And then that means we'll now complete page one. One seventh done. Yay. Yeah. Where's the logo panel, Bill? I can confirm it's on this deck somewhere. Because I didn't take any of the packaging to be on the deck. That's, that's another rule when you're putting this together. Don't stray too far. Because then you don't remember what you did with all the parts. <laughs> so the next step is to put this trim piece where the doors hit. Put that on. Screw that into the legs. So step four out of 35 was to put this bottom piece on. You just screw it in. We had a little trouble orientating it because we couldn't figure out uh, how it fit in here. But you just drop what, it down. A yeah, little you have bit, to drop it all the way down. And then the screws. And go then up the legs there. fit in between there, and then you screw two, it in. Two people make it really good. So you got to be nice to somebody to get their help. Then yeah, one person is going to have then, trouble then with that. Just be nice to them long enough to get the help done. The next step is screw on the wheels. We thought it was in the other box. Uh, but those turned out to be the knobs. <laughs> At least I knew they weren't wheels, or I didn't think they were wheels. At least they will be, uh, this thing will be mobile now. Yay. So we're putting the sides on. Uh, it's not quite fun. Fun. Pretty self-explanatory. Just line the screws up. Okay, the two sides are on. Next step is drop kick the thing across the yard. No. Not quite there yet. <laughs> we're pretty close. I think we're only on page three. Yeah, we'll be halfway across page three. Oh. So, um, that was step, what, eight? Yeah, that was step eight, putting this bad boy on. We used four screws for that. So the back is only half. I don't know. Maybe they want a little peep show. I don't know. Here in the front... We're going to be putting similar to what we had did up here. This uh, door magnets up here, we're putting a set down there. That's step nine. And then step ten is we're going to put some handles, which I think are those orange-looking things. They look like L's. Uh, these little bracket-looking things. So we'll get to that in a minute. We're cheating and jumping the, jumping the order because we want to put the handles on. Amy wants to help, so she wants to put the knobs on. How nice of her. I want the knobs. I can't do it. Because you're not supposed to. They'll tell us in due time. <laughs> so the next step is to install this corresponding door magnet. Uh, door magnet to the bottom. These are easy steps. I don't think you need to like... Oh, I'm sparing you the detail on, you know, how to screw something we're in. We're just trying to keep this PG rated. <laughs> so we're... we're yeah. Okay, we put the one door on, and now we're putting well, another Well, we also on. put these handles on. Don't forget we put that. Put the handles. Step. Put the handle. Aren't they so beautiful? You have to click, like, the edge piece into the handle part. No, 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 no. Huh? What? Oh, no, you didn't have to yeah. do that. Yeah, no, no, they, they fit on with screws in the back. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. It's, it's one of the more easier parts of this put together. 
Now, the fun part is... I was lollygagging because I was putting was. my well, rice she's, on. She's trying to get some rice on so we can do some rice tomorrow. I did put the shelf in. It fits into some bracket-looking thingies and this little part right here. It's pretty straightforward. You, you can't mess that up. You probably don't see it because it's dark outside. It's getting dark. So that just goes to tell you. It takes We've been working on this for hours. so it's. But we're making progress, though. Now, part of this, I'm thinking, like, if they only charge you, like, 50 bucks to put it together and you don't want to waste the whole afternoon, uh, it might be worth the 50. I don't know. If you got somebody who knows what they're doing, maybe that helps, too. You know, having two or four eyes helps not to lose parts. What I don't like about the doors is they're kind of a pain. It's a very tight fit. This plastic part goes into a pinhole in the bottom. That's easy. Getting this little guy to go up into this one is pretty hard. I mean, it happens, but they put an opening next to it, and that kind of gets in the way of things. So don't let it go up in there. Stay straight up in this area, and you'll be good. So it only takes a few minutes, but it should have been easier. But, um, but yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so I'll put it on and let's see how it goes. Oh, psh, pressure. <laughs> All these parts seem like they have things that are jiggling around inside of yeah, them. Yeah, well, something I think may have fallen out. All right, it's in. Yay, right? Yeah. That's just part one of it. Now, getting this guy down and stuff, because you can kind of see right there, it's kind of a tight fit. If he snaps in, life will be good, right? But he won't, because that's what he does. He torments you all day. <laughs> Plus, you got like these other screws and things sticking out that kind of get in your way. It's just not fun. Whoop! There it goes. Did I not hear a snap? Ooh. See if my door magnet works. Okay. Okay. Not exactly flush, but it's close enough, I suppose. Let's see if we can shut the other door behind me. Ooh! Yay! They shut. It's yeah. starting to get dark out here, so we'll see how... Okay, we did get this side piece on. I think that's to hold a trash bag or something? Yeah, so that ate up a couple of steps. You got a bracket, you got some weird screws, this thing sticks on there, yay. Now we're putting uh, these little Z bracket looking things and this little guy down here have no idea what it's for because they don't tell me they just say do it so we'll figure out in a minute what it goes to just do it just do it now it's getting dark it is dark um so we're putting on this side uh it has like little fold little side, out little tables on the side side, side side shelves yeah but right now we're putting on these little doohickeys that you can hang your tools from, like spatulas and stuff. Yeah. So we're putting the tool stuff on right now. They have little tool things. What well, we put did on. do, we got the, I think you said we did the garbage. And over here is a little towel holder to put on. Yay! Okay. And that swivels back in for, for storage. Yeah, bug! All right, so next day, good morning, afternoon. All right, we have some knobs. We got a little round piece of sorts. Got some screws. I got the little offsets for the handle. That's the handle for the uh, door for the cover, lid looking thing. We got the grill top and some side table looking thing. There's another part of like the side thingy. Here's the lid, and here's some sort of oil collecting or grease collecting cup. That's all I got left for parts. So this is how it looks as of right now with that, yay. And if I pop the doors open, you got that stuff there, yay. So we're getting close to being done, yay. We're on page 11. Step 21. You can see we got this uh, side thing with the little hooks that we did previously. We're going to slide that little guy, this side table looking thing. There's a pin right there. And then that's probably going to take a screw. So that's a reverse angle of it. Here's some more stuff going on with it. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll fold a leg down or something. Who knows? 
But basically the next three steps is getting this thing working. So we'll be back in a second. All right, we moved this contraption over to the griddle here. We have a loose screw there holding it. Looks like a little keystone looking connection. And this is the one on the right. You can see the hole down below needs a screw. He needs a screw too. And then we can tighten these top ones. And then that way, this bad boy will be a complete, right? Yeehaw. That little ring right there helps you uh, pull the legs out. This whole thing folds pretty easy. These things, got those little guys. So you can kind of see, you can extend the legs. We're at steps number 27 and 28 now, where knobs. They want us to put the knobs on those bad boys. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, it's starting to look good. We have this side table here. I don't know what that is. Eric says it's for paper towels, but I don't know. I don't know how you're going to get paper towels to go around that. you got the side table and that. So the next step is we need to put the top on it. So here we go. So this thing supposedly has a paper towel holder on here, but pull that off so we can see it, Eric. I have no idea how a paper towel is going to go on there with that bend in there like that. Um, if you have one of these, <laughs> let me know how you use this because that thing is not going on there. No. It just gets hung up. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're supposed to use smaller rolls. Maybe maybe this is a bit too big of a roll. It's not going to go on the whole thing for it. So. But we have a $99 cart that has a much better paper towel. So I'll yeah. use that one instead. Yeah. So I will use this feature to fold it inward and we don't need it. Done. <laughs> okay, so that is on. It wasn't too difficult. It's just heavy. And you have to like slide it. So right, the so right here, it's like a keystone look. So it's wide where my finger is and narrow over here. The one is just a circle back there. So you put this one in first, same thing over there, and you carefully slide without scratching. And then when you get it back into the keystone, the narrow part, then that back there will line up with a little circle and it drops in. And at that point, it's not going anywhere. This thing weighs about 40 pounds probably. It's definitely a two-person job. It is. They tell you that. The last step is putting the uh, cover on. So we're gonna let's hop to it. Okay, to put the lid on, we're going to be dropping it into that area. And that's how it looks over here. Um, hopefully you can just remove this easy, because sometimes I'm not going to want that sitting up like that. No. I mean, two people can do it, but one person. This doesn't weigh that much. And there we are. The lid is on. Lower down. We need to get that paper off. The AA battery goes in here. That's for your ignition system. You just unscrew this little bad boy. You know, put your little battery in there, okay? So we'll do that. And we'll have to hook up the uh, propane and all. So it's done, right? It's built, baby. So it is built. Stay tuned. We're going to season this. And um, then we will do our first cook. I think we're gonna do some chicken fried rice. That's gonna be our first cook on the Blackstone. So thanks for joining us. The Blackstone is a, yeah, here at the Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen. Yay!